the blade is a one inch thick walled trans white with a round tip from TCSS. It's cut to the approximately 24 inches and then it does have a little tape snugging it up inside the blade holder. We'll go ahead and uh, insert the blade. Tighten that screw up. Um, when installed, it gives it a nice uh, 2 to 1 ratio. The saber itself is just about uh, 12 inches long to the tips and then having a 24 inch long blade gives it a nice ratio. We'll set that down here and we'll uh, fire it up. It's a uh, Rebel Star in green. Uh, you know you get a lot of uh, lumens out of that and uh, helps that the human eye is very sensitive. Uh, there is some uh, poly wrap in the blade although to be honest it wasn't all that necessary given the trans white nature. Uh, we do have the auxiliary clash switch which works out very well on this board because you can chain it, uh, simulate uh, blade lockup or even blast or deflect a little bit. Um, certainly can't do that on like an MRFX because of the reboot issue. Um, we're going to go ahead and Take this saber into the dark and get a look at it, and we will be right back.